Let's freeze frame and let's add a custom effect to Minecraft. Fortune Fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. All right, friends, let's back Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom effect to Minecraft. Now, this is very, very exciting because effects, I always thought that they, well, I always thought them very difficult, but actually turns out they are, well, I mean, not easy. They are much easier than you might expect, actually. And for this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new package in our tutorial mod package called effect. And then inside of there, we're going to need two classes. One of them is going to be the freeze effect. This is going to be our actual effect. Then the other class is going to be the mod effects class. Now the mod effects class looks very similar to a lot of other stuff we've seen already. It's going to have a public static final deferred register, just like we've like seen a bunch of times, right? This time of type of mob effect. And we're going to call this the mob underscore effects. And this is going to, of course, going to be equal to deferred register that create for registries dot mob effects and then tutorial mod dot mod id and where there is a deferred register there also is a public static void or register method with an i event bus called event bus as its parameter and then we're calling mob effects oh this is actually mob effects not mod effects that's kind of funny actually mob effects dot register event bus there you go and just before we forget this in the tutorial mod class below the mod sounds we're going to call the mod effects class dot register and passing in the event bus and just like that the mod effects here have been added and now on to the freeze effect class now for this one what we're actually going to do is i'm actually going to copy the entire class over however it is fairly straightforward all things considered and you're going to see that in just a moment so we'll see that this extends the mob effect class and you can see it's very straightforward, all things considered. So you can see that we need the apply effect tick method, which is called every tick, as long as the is duration effect tick is true. This is very important. This is why we need to override this class. Otherwise, it's not going to work. For some vanilla examples, middle mouse button, click on the mob effect class. And then here in the apply effect, for example, you can see there's some other things in here. It's a little annoying the way that this has been set up because everything here is basically hard coded. So it's, it's not the cleanest code actually from Mojang right here. Here, but you know it is what it is so you can see and take a look at some of the examples here mainly definitely here in the apply effect tick method and i'm not even sure if there are other things okay there are some other things attack damage mob absorption mob effect instantaneous mob effect in the health boost mob effect as well so there are some um, effects here as well that you can take a look at but for the time being this is pretty much the best thing to take a look at. And then this one, well, I mean, what does it do? Well, you can see we're just getting the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the actual entity that this effect is applied to. And then we're teleporting it back to the X, Y, Z coordinate, or rather, and also setting the delta movement to zero. But this is important for the actual, for AI. So this is for entities, you know, the, the zombies and stuff like that. And then the teleport too is important for the player. And if we do this, then when the freeze effect is applied to an entity, then it can't move anymore. That's the general idea. And let's then actually register this. So in our mod effects class, once again, a public static final registry object of type mob effect. And this is, of course, called freeze. This is equal to mob effects dot register. We're going to call this freeze. And then we're going to make a new supplier with a new freeze effect. We're going to put in a mob effect category dot harmful and then the second one the second parameter is actually an integer which codes for the color of both the potion which we're going to create in the next tutorial as well as the particles that are going to flow you know out of your body basically when you have this effect now we also want to add some stuff right here namely in the textures because of course we still need a texture for this and we're just going to add a new directory in the textures directory called mob underscore effects and this is going to have the freeze texture right here. There you go. So this is going to be displayed when you have the effect, you know, in the inventory at the top right corner. And then we also want to add the effect in the lang in the en underscore us json file. We're just going to add it at the very bottom here. So this is going to be effects dot tutorial mod dot freeze. And this is just going to be called freeze. It's actually, it's actually effect, not effects, but that is pretty much all that we need to change here. So effect dot tutorial mod dot freeze. And then that's going to be translated to freeze. And that is actually all of the things that we need to do. Now, like I said, the potions and potion recipes are going to be added in the next and the lecture after that. I mean, for the effect, let's see if it works. 
Oh, Rotten Fans, I was back in Minecraft. So let's see if I can give myself the effect. So let's search for tutorial mod freeze. There we go. And now I've added it to my player. And there we go. So I'm now currently frozen. So I can barely move. So I can actually still move, but it's incredibly slow. I believe that flying up actually works a little bit better here for the freeze effect. But you can see that the movement is very much, you know, I mean, not really working. And then even the, you know, the... If I try to move the camera, it's it's just not going to work. So that's a very interesting and a very cool effect. And we can see that this actually does not work, which is very interesting. Let's actually see what the deal is with that. Well, would you look at that? It actually is mob effect and not mob effects. So if you have something like this happen, right? By the way, you can actually go into your run client right here. And you can see I just searched for freeze. So pressing control F and then search for freeze. And I found, you know, this file was not found and I just basically took a look okay textures mob effect and before it was called mob effects and that's why it didn't work so this is a very easy way to basically troubleshoot some issues so now it's going to work as well but that would pretty much conclude the custom effects right here like i said next time we're going to take a look at some potions very interesting indeed but that would be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.